Good morning. It's day 82. And today's going to be kind of a continuation of yesterday when I was talking about learning how to manage your time and just keeping a record of the things that you're doing. Um, I literally, for myself, I'm just using a small notebook that I put down the start time that I start working on something. And then I log the start time of the next thing, even if that thing is downtime. If it's lunch, if it's having to help my mom with her computer, and those kinds of things do happen. Yesterday was one of those days where just randomly in the middle of my morning, my mom's like, uh, can you come help me send this email? Because I have to get it done today. And da, da, da. and that is, a, that is something that I've just kind of committed to myself to do, to help because she is not super tech savvy. And, but she at least tries to learn things. Um, but one thing I've noticed this week as I've done this exercise is that I've, I've been reminded of what happens when you go on, when you're planning for a vacation. And you can typically get so much done in that last couple of days because you have to. Same thing happens when you return from a vacation. And it's that focused, I gotta get this done. I i don't wanna be having to think about work the whole time I'm gone or I'm back and these things have not been done and I gotta get caught up. And there's a almost frantic sense that goes with that. But what I'm seeing just from tracking my time and paying attention to make sure I don't have these voids in my day is keeping a running list of the things that I need to get done so that when I finish something, I have a list I can go to and go, okay, I can do that right now. And it's interesting that when we make a plan, how much more we can get done. And I heard somebody offer the concept that if we look at our time as though God has invested minutes into our lives. And what kind of a return are we giving him? And as I've thought about that, I've gone back to some of the things that I've written in the past about my vision for my life. And there's a, there is scripture that says, without a vision, the people perish. If you don't have something you're aiming for, something bigger than you, something bigger than just, I want to make more money, you're, you're just going to die where you are. And I don't mean that you're physically going to die, but the spiritual part of you will just die, just wither up and become completely irrelevant if there's no plan, there's no vision in place. So one of my things to myself as I was rereading some of those vision things this morning was to be better at keeping commitments to myself. I'm great at fulfilling commitments to other people, but I've not always been great at committing things for myself and following through on them. So even as I'm working through this time management idea, it's a commitment to myself to make sure that my especially my working hours are as productive as they can be so that I'm not stressing about those things outside those work hours when I have time with my family. But then one of the stories I heard this week in this idea was there was a guy who had really dialed in his work week, but he wasn't doing any kind of planning for his downtime, weekends, evenings, whatever, and he was fighting with his wife all the time. And there needs to be a sense of order and of getting something done, and that something doesn't have to be work. It can be reading a good book. It can be going for a walk. It can be learning a new skill. 
learning to do something. I have all of these things on my list. I don't want to learn to speak Italian. I want to learn to speak Spanish. I want to learn some form of martial arts. There are all of these things that they're going to take time to learn and they've got to be done in addition to the other things that I already have to get done. So today, as you're hopefully at least starting this process of analyzing how you spend your time, start thinking about that focus that you have when you're headed on vacation. How many things can you get done when you have a deadline? And it's something that you want to do and you don't want to have work hanging over your head. So think about that about every aspect of your life and see what a difference it can make because it can bring such peace at the end of the day to look at the list and go, oh my God, I got so much done today. And they were things that needed to be done. It's not just busy work. So it is day 82. I'm signing off and I'll see you tomorrow.